I'm so proud of the person that you are. All over the years, you've changed through all of the different phases. I've been there with you. And in our little family that we've created, all we ever wanted for you to be happy. Lately, your happiness has been so infectious to everyone, and you've managed to successfully bring us so much joy. As much as we celebrate you today, we welcome Carl once again. I say once again because Carl has been family since day one. When he walked into my house, he walked in with his sister, Lisa, and I told Joe, I'm gonna do the whole, what are your intentions thing. And when he walked in with Lisa, I thought, okay, now he has backup, so I can't give him the talk. So I stopped. And studies show that within the first seven seconds of meeting someone, people will have a solid impression of who you are. And that's when I realized that I didn't need to ask his intentions. He clearly intended on marrying her whether I had to talk or not. Needless to say, he made the right decision. You might find a few very emotional people in our family today. At first, we couldn't figure out what triggered the emotions. And I soon realized that we've put you on this pedestal, a well-deserved pedestal, thinking nobody could ever be good enough for you. Until we met Carl, who changed the game, putting our family in an emotional uproar. Thanks, Carl. We've been crying for days. We have no idea why. <laughs> so today, I just want to say congratulations to the both of you. When two incredible people fall in love, it's hard not to get emotional about their future and knowing that they bring each other a kind of love that cannot be described. Joe, I love you more than I could ever express. And there's not enough words to describe how grateful I am to be a part of your life. I look forward to the next chapter with you guys in your journey. But most of all, I look forward to witnessing your marriage blossom into something more magical each day that passes. 